Does anybody have a question? We're question, ready. Question. Come on, microphone. I wanted to ask Tyrese earlier in the show when you mentioned about the intimidation factor. The first thing that you said was that I am a man who is comfortable in my own skin. That's the yeah. first thing you said. How then do you all feel more confident in that you don't have to be intimidated by a woman who's strong? I can't say that every man has the kind of confidence I have. It has nothing to do with fame or money and whatever else for me. Because anybody who knows me from childhood will always tell you I've always been loud, I've always had a very big personality. I just think personality-wise, you got guys that are really shy. You got guys that are way more aggressive about what they want. And some guys specifically um, would much rather be in a relationship where they can use their success, their money, and their power as a form of manipulation to keep the woman in the relationship. Where are you going? You need me. You can't survive. You can't move. You can't do anything without me. Right? So there's a codependency that he creates. So he may be intimidated to go to a woman and say, you, I'm out of here. Okay, when you say you out of here, you actually mean it because you got your own money, your own car. You can actually leave my place and go to your place. And that's intimidating for a lot of guys. But the goal is to chip away the confidence that's connected to being too aggressive, right? It's just like, have your confidence and your swag about you, but, you know, don't be, uh, and it's like, yo, you, you, I'm actually trying to flirt with you and get with you. So I think it's about a man wanting to smell the perfume and still feel like you may have all this and be all that, but you still made me feel like you're interested in me when I'm trying to get at you, so. Yeah. Anybody else with a question? How does a woman distinguish if a man just wants to sleep with you or is he trying to pursue a relationship? By his actions. If a man wants to be with you, he'll go far in order to show it to you. If a man wants to just have sex with you, he will just invite you to his apartment or to his house. He'll tell you, let's have a little bit of Netflix and... Yeah. <laughs> you have to watch his actions and not his words. And you have to be smart enough to withhold from him, and if he doesn't call you because you've been, you know, decent and saying, I'm not sleeping with you, that's... That's mine. This is my sexuality. This is my sex. Why would I just give you something like that without you taking the time to find out other things about me that's great besides for my body parts and all that stuff? So I would say there, there definitely has to be a time where he shows you that he's interested in something else besides the sex. It's very simple. Uh, my answer would be a little different. That was a good answer. answer be, that's you. a really good answer. That's the real answer, but that's you can go really, where you want. No, really. Listen to the single guy. Go ahead and kick My it. My answer would be a little different. I would say that, you know, it's very easy to assume that the man wants sex, but what about the women that only want sex? <laughs> what about the women that meet you, and as soon as they see you, they think you fly, you tall, you handsome, you this, you that, and they're giving you all the indication that they're ready to make it happen off top, just like the man is. I just feel like people are overthinking, overanalyzing, and if your preference is to wait until you get married, to wait, to create delays and all of this chase and make sure you make me feel like you're pursuing me before I this and that, that's your personal preference, and I can't say that I'm against it. Do what you gotta do. But I think sometimes when you take too long to get to whatever that next level is, you could be setting yourself up for a heartache. Because if it's intentions, it's just to get some ass, and you make him wait six months, he gonna get it, and then you gonna be like, well, damn, I held back, I this, I that. And you did all of this stuff, creating all these challenges and obstacle courses for him to jump over. Then you finally gave in, and then he showed you what his intentions was from the beginning. So I would say, look, live your life, you create your own timelines around when you're gonna give it up, and, and be grown about Best it. Best timeline is wait until he gives you that ring. It's not you, it's Reese. <laughs> we love y'all, good night. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, YouTubers. I'm excited to give you an update about our own YouTube channel. Now you can find new videos every day. They're the kind of videos that will make you look at life differently. They may even make you laugh a little bit. 
Who doesn't need a daily dose of that? So here's just a taste of some of what you'll see. Subscribe to the OWN channel today, and we'll see you on YouTube.